In Uniontown and Ross Traver Township is Sprowls Insurance Group, 724-437-9812 or go to SprowlsInsurance.com. Gary Rate Block does not guarantee continued insurance coverage and is not available in all states. And we're set to go here from Fox Chapel High School, the Geibel Gators and the Bishop Canvin Crusaders. Bishop Canvin looking like the North Carolina Tar Heels out there, Tony. They sure do. And <laughs> for Geibel's sake, I hope they don't play like them. Tony Carter stepping into the center circle as... You have the Gators, Caden Grady, jumping against Amari Evans, and Evans able to win it back there for Bishop Canavan. Over to R.J. Sledge, high on the right, and the Geibel zone picked up defensively by Jeffrey Johnson as you had Jaden Gales trying to set the screen. Sledge staying with it. Sledge now bounce pass, actually deflected out. Which way is it going to go? It'll be Geibel basketball. Yeah, he just tried to dump it down. Actually should have taken that shot by himself. He had it wide open there in the lane. Could have hit a little teardrop to put Bishop Canavan on the board to start this game out. Gators in their away greens with gold numbers and white trim. Geibel working left to right as we describe it here in the opening quarter. Jadis Kennedy who had a hot start against Eden Christian in the first half on Wednesday. Brought it across. A little switch back up top there with Trayvon White. Now back to Kennedy holding here edge of the zone. I would think for Geibel, Tony, a strategy that they might want to employ is a little bit of a slower game plan coming in here. Maybe allow them to stay in the game a little bit longer. Well, we mentioned that the other night. You and uh, Billy Dice and I, when we were doing a game, really Geibel did slow down the offense pretty much all game. They didn't run a whole lot. And I would expect they're going to do the same thing here today, just try to work and try to get some good shots. Johnson just had his pocket picked. R.J. Sledge coming back, laying it up and in. The Gators a little sleepy behind the wheel there, Tony. Thanks. And Bishop Canavan getting the opening two points of the game. Well, and that's the thing. The Geibel Gators is going to need good guard play today to contend with this Bishop Canavan team. Kennedy a little switch very close to over and back. Jadis gets it back, fires it down low over to Caden Grady. Back on the wing to Clayton who drives, floats it up and in. Travell Clayton who hit some big shots down the stretch for Geibel on Wednesday. Ties this game up at 2, 6.28 left here in the opening quarter. Yeah, Clayton hit some big shots and did well on the boards for Geibel the other night. He's going to have to do that again here today. There's Amari Evans fighting for room on the inside. Reset back up top, three on the way, off the mark there. And taking that three was Jaden Gales. And the Gators with a rebound underneath, and Jadis Kennedy will work out of his own zone. Kennedy going to run the point here. Interesting. And now he's going to give it to Johnson to run. But yeah, we saw White do a great job rebounding the other night, too, for Geibel. And actually... Rebounded that miss by Johnson at the foul line to seal the victory for Geibel. There's Clayton lost the dribble, needs help. Edge of the zone, White going for the save. Poked into the backcourt, controlled there by Bishop Canavan. Kai Spears coming back, foul on the drive. Shot attempt no good, but Spears will have two free throws upcoming here for the Crusaders. Well, and that's the thing. They cannot afford to get into foul trouble. And they call that foul on Jeffrey Johnson. And interesting, Tony, that Johnson was not running the point. It was Kennedy. And now we're going to have a quick timeout, so we'll take one as well. 5.47 left here in the first game tied at 2. We're back in 60 in the CR Prada Group High School Sports Night. Good times and good food. It's all grill on Borgman Town Street in Uniontown, family-owned and operated. Honors has been a staple in the Uniontown community since 1950. So get out of the house and make your next night out at Potter's Bar and Grill on Morgantown Street in Uniontown. Call them up at 724-438-9835. That's 724-438-9835. Or visit Potter's on Facebook. We'll see you at Potter's. Uniontown Detailing offers an all-inclusive auto care experience. Services include full auto detailing, professional ceramic coating, window tinting, undercoating, paintless dent repair, and more. They are conveniently located at 1310 Pittsburgh Road in Uniontown. But look for Uniontown detailing in February at a new location on 255 South Mount Vernon Avenue in Uniontown. Best of luck this season to all local teams from Uniontown detailing. Back here at Fox Chapel High School, Brian Morozak along with Tony Hanula, the Geibel Gators and the Bishop Canavan Crusaders tied it to Kai Spears of the line for Bishop Canavan. 5.47 left here in the opening quarter. Spears averaging 12.7 a game, had seven against Rochester in the Crusaders quarterfinal round win. He knocks down the first of two free throws here for the Crusaders. Now, and that's the thing about this Bishop Canavan team. They have a bunch of players that can step up at any point in time. Spears actually had a game earlier in the year when he scored a career-high 33. It's both free throws here to put the Crusaders on top, 4-2. Now they'll show a little pressure here on Jadis Kennedy. Of course, these two teams, you said, Tony, 
know each other rather well. They met twice during the course of the regular season. Bishop Canavan winning both meetings rather easily. Yeah, like you said, by a combined 58 points in those two games. So, Geibel, they know what they're going to face here today. Kennedy in the corner. Jeffrey Johnson for three. Gives the Gators the lead. Jeffrey Johnson. His first points of the afternoon come from outside the arc. And Geibel, a 5-4 lead over Bishop Canavan. 5-15 left here on the first. Little pass down low. Intercepted. Look out here. Jadis Kennedy breaking back for the Gators. Kennedy pulling out here on the near wing. Tried a little flip down low. Intended there for Grady. Got deflected into the hands of Kavon Price for Bishop Canavan. Back down the floor. Little touch forward. You have Shea Champagne into the game. And a miss there from the outside. Ball deflected out of bounds with Bishop Canavan basketball off the Gators underneath. So Champagne, the first substitution of the game on the Bishop Canavan side. And as we said, Gobble's not very deep, so you're not going to see too many players off the bench for the Gators here today. Really only saw Michael Miller and Braden Curry off the pine on Wednesday. Missed three there from Champagne and Geibel with the rebound underneath. And White with a stellar rebound right there. Just got up above everybody. And he'll pull it back to Jadis Kennedy again. Picked up by Kai Spears on the near wing now to Caden Grady. Grady holding a little switch here on the near side. A little fumble, then a regain from Trayvon White. White high on the right, back to Jeffrey Johnson, edge of the zone. 4.30 left here in the first. Geibel the basketball on a 5-4 lead. Johnson back near side, Trayvon White again. White trying to work to his left. Nice little dump down and underneath. The shot from Clayton might have been altered. Gators still fighting. Clayton getting it back. Another miss. Ball still loose. Tipped around and finally controlled there by Bishop Canavan. Amari Evans trying to send it off to his right. Got knocked down by Jadis Kennedy. Here's Kennedy coming back for the Gators. Kennedy loose with the ball deflected out here on the near side. Kennedy on the seat of his pants trying to send it off to his right there to Jeffrey Johnson. Yeah, and interestingly enough, Geibel with the steal there. And <laughs> we got our new cameraman coming. Steve Superk in the house tonight. <laughs> I guess he's going to run the camera for the rest of the game. As Jeffrey Johnson sends it into Grady. Grady off a little deflection. Gets it back to Johnson. Far wing white. A little ball fake. Now sends it back to Jadis Kennedy again here between the circles. Kennedy off to his right again to White. Watched there by Champagne. Comes baseline. Floater up on the way and good for Trayvon White. So tell the Gators coming to play today. Come, they have come to play today. And I think this slowdown game's affecting Bishop Canavan a little bit. Gators a 7-4 lead as R.J. Sledge brings it back across for Canavan. Back over to Omari Evans looking for a little dump down. And I thought actually underneath you had Price out of bounds. They didn't rule him out. And he's able to get the two to go down on the blocks to cut into the guy will lead. It's down to one at 7-6. to six. And a pretty nice entry pass right there. Kevon Price, excellent position there. Nice dump down and just use that big body to get that easy basket. Here's Clayton working left of the lane. A little touch foul called there on the floor by Tony Carter. I think that's going to be on... Champagne, and it is. It's going to be his first. And three substitutions now coming in here on the Bishop Canavan side. You have Trey Champagne coming in for his brother, Shea. Checking out was Kai Spears. I'm trying to get a number here. Jamil Fife, number five in for the first time, and a little deflection there from Jaden Gales, and Gales off to his right and slamming it home. Kayvon Price. And the Gators will take a timeout. 3-11 left here in the first. Bishop Canavan now in the lead at 8-7. And we're back in a moment here on the Seahaw Parada Group High School Sports Night. Welcome to our fast forward window. How can I assist you? Uh, 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 I'd like to pick up one of you. Okay, small, medium, large, or we could even supersize it for you. Wow, what's the supersize? It's a super duty super crew. Perfect. I'll go for that one. Would you like a single or a double? Huh? Single wheel or dually? Uh, let's go all out. Give me a dually. Okay, you knew I was going to ask. Do you want fries with that? Ha ha. Or maybe a family deal? Definitely the family deal. They're gonna love it. Okay, you're all set. Wow, technology sure is changing everything. Hi, I'm Chuck Smith. And gone are the days when Megan Ford had 500 cars on her lot. But now, ordering your new Ford is fast and easy at MeganFord.com. It's custom built for you, by you. You select a model, color, equipment, and before long, your new Ford will arrive on our lot. Visit MeganFord.com or give us a call today at 724-628-2720. Prime Rozak, Tony Hanola back here at Fox Chapel High School. Steve Superk behind the camera on our Trib Live High School Sports Network video feed. And Nick Barczyk back inside our WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios. Nice to have you along with us for a Saturday afternoon of high school basketball from Fox Chapel High School. As Jadis Kennedy will bring it back across here for the Gators. 
Candy picked up there by Price. Price sent it off to his right, and that pass deflected and stolen. Amari Evans coming back for the second slam of the game for the Crusaders. And Bishop Kahneman goes on top 10 to 7. Yeah, not a very good pass there by Kennedy, and now they're going to have Johnson run the point. Just a lazy pass, and Evans able to make that steal and throw it down. He's a nice-looking freshman. And at Johnson actually ran the point for much of that game against Eden Christian on Wednesday. That's why I was a bit surprised to see Kennedy running the point early on here against Bishop Canavan. Well, if, if they're going to have, there's Kennedy with another bad pass. Intercepted there by the Crusaders. Gales had it, tried to send it off to his right. That got deflected and into the hands of Geibel's Travel Clayton. Clayton, not the kind you want to see on the fast break, so he uh, smartly enough pulled that ball out and dropped it back to Johnson to set up the offense. Johnson over to Trayvon White. Holds here on the near wing. Now backs off here high on the right. Being watched there by Trey Champagne. White staying with it. Coming baseline along two on the way. Good for Trayvon White. His second field goal of the game. He has four. Guy will back to within one. Down 10-9 to nine as we go under two minutes left here in the opening quarter. Yeah, and that's a good sign if they can get White hot. And he can start shooting here today, and he, he'll keep Guy in this game. Mari Evans back up to Fife on a little switch up top. Over to Trey Champagne. Good feed down low. Coming free, and... Laying it up and in underneath, Jaden Gales. Gales had eight against Rochester, just went over 1,000 career points. And the Crusaders now up three at 12 to nine, with 90 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Yeah, and a little man-to-man -man right now being enforced by Imani, and it's forced a few turnovers here so far, so Gabo has to be more careful with the basketball. White little switch with Johnson off to his left there to Jadis Kennedy, now Jeffrey Johnson again. Johnson trying to spin off a defender, that's Fife. Look to his left, got it stolen, and look out here. Bishop Canavan coming back, Fife a little floater, no good, but cleaned up by Jaden Gales. So Gales now with four, Bishop Canavan, their largest lead of the afternoon so far at five at 14-9 as we go under a minute left here in the opening quarter. Now the problem is Geibel just not protecting the basketball very well, turning the ball over, and Bishop Canavan able to get some easy baskets on the backside. Here's Trayvon White holding here high on the right. It's watched there by Champagne. Now will pivot and a little turn and shoot, no good. Ball loose underneath and White got it back. Comes back inside, a little handoff over to Grady, who uses the glass and gets it to go. Caden Grady, his first two of the game, came in averaging nine points, 12 and a half rebounds a game. Has the Gators back to within a possession, down 14 to 11, with 25 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Yeah, and actually Grady was pretty quiet in that game against Eden Christian the other night. Here's Evans, a little hop step on the inside and look at a Geibel foul call here. They're gonna call that on Clayton on the reach. Wasn't a lot going on there, Tom. No, there wasn't. But he's going to pick up his first. With 18.9 left here in the opening quarter. It's only the team's second foul here in this first quarter. First of two free throws rattling out for Amari Evans. Evans, only a freshman, has put up good numbers so far this season, averaging eight and a half points a game at 17 against Rochester on Wednesday. Yeah, I was going to say he doubled that total against Rochester, but... You could see that they had about nine guys in the scoring column in that game. So, they, you know, they played a lot, especially with that huge lead against Rochester. Made the second after missing the first. So Bishop Canavan going up four now, 15 to 11, 18.9 left here in the opening quarter. Kennedy into White, back to Jadis Kennedy. Gators will likely take this down here for the final shot in the quarter. White will bring it across. Defended there by Price. Works off to his left. Five seconds left in the quarter. Little double team up top. Fired a high pass down low. Deflected out of bounds over to Bishop Canavan with 2.9 left on the clock. Well, and again, another errant pass. And Bishop Canavan going to have a chance to extend this lead before the end of this first quarter. And have to go quick. Less than three seconds left. Goes in here to Fife. Fife from midcourt. Fires it Whoa. Up in. What a shot there from Jamil Fife. To end the opening quarter. And that puts Bishop Canavan up seven at 18 to 11. And we're back with a second quarter in 60 here on the CR Parada Group High School Sports Night. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or missing a tooth? Or maybe it's time for a new set of dentures. Call the office of Dr. Jonathan Krisner and Dr. Jennifer Haar at 600 Cherry Tree Lane in Uniontown. Thanks to their in-office denture lab, they can make your new dentures faster than other offices and in most cases, same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Call for your appointment, 724-438-0241, or visit their Facebook page. Your streaming solution is here. EXP Stream from Armstrong brings long-demand programs together with streaming entertainment like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and more. 
one box and put TV on your schedule with incredible features like Start Over, which lets you catch up on live shows up to three days later and with 50 hours. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash stream to sign up today. TXT Stream, streaming salt. Back here at Fox Chapel High School, what a way to end that opening quarter for Bishop Canavan. Three from midcourt from Fife. And the Crusaders go up seven. Guy will have the basketball here to start the second quarter. Well, you said they were going to have to be quick about it to score, and they sure were. Fife busting that from half court and extending the lead to seven at the end of the first. Gators working left to right here in the second quarter. Jeffrey Johnson bringing it across the timeline, picked up there by Price. Johnson staying with it. And a little touch off to Jadis Kennedy. Kennedy left of the lane, handing off over to Grady's triple team. We'll get a jump ball called here. We'll go to the arrow. It favors Bishop Canavan. Yeah, a nice play on the double team. Kennedy tried to dump that ball down to Grady, but they swarmed on him pretty quickly. With the tie-up, it's going to go to Bishop Canavan. Yeah, tough break there for the Gators. Bishop Canavan now an opportunity to extend their lead with Jamil Fife bouncing it off to his left to Kevon Price. Price, nice-looking player, as you said, over 1,000 points in his career as well. Back to Trey Champagne. And underneath, fighting for positioning there is Price. Missed on the shot attempt, deflected out of bounds over to Geibel. Yeah, I saw Price out in the hallway when I went out at halftime of the first game. He's a thick kid, has an offer from Point Park, but he's doing a nice job this year and have a great year. He was the Trib Player of the Year last year in 1A, and he picked up right where he left off. You're telling me as well, Tony, that Jaden Gales has an offer from Penn State Fayette. I saw that on the Twitter page as I was trying to get some information for this game. So, yeah, you might, you might see him out on Route 119 here before the uh, start of next year. You never know. Trayvon White pulling it back then to Travell Clayton. Bouncing it off to Jeffrey Johnson. Watch there by Fife. Off to Grady. Little juggle trying to regain. Gators getting sloppy, and they turn it over again as the ball deflected out of bounds at midcourt. Yeah, just... Just not protecting the ball. I mean, just way too many turnovers here so far. And a quick three right off the inbounds pass. Too strong of a back iron there from Kai Spears. Caden Grady pulled down the rebound there for Geibel. 6.38 left before halftime. Bishop Canavan an 18-11 lead over Geibel. Jeffrey Johnson brings it back across. Johnson, edge of the zone, watched there by Fife. Johnson throwing it into the corner. No one home, out of bounds. Back to Bishop Canavan again. Now, part of it is Gobble's really not moving on offense. Everybody's kind of standing around, and they're looking for the pass, but you got to go to the ball. You can see Coach Porter right now a little frustrated with his offense. And you'll have Shea Champagne sending it in here for Bishop Canavan into R.J. Sledge. Gators have yet to make a change in this game. They've stuck with their starting five so far, Kennedy, Johnson, White, Clayton, and Grady. As R.J. Sledge now works here between the circles. Sledge lost the dribble to his right to Kai Spears. Touch now from Shea Champagne. Back up top against Omari Evans. To his left to Gales, who wasn't expecting the pass. <laughs> and back to Sledge again. Now Gales back in the corner. Gales coming inside, driving and scoring. Jaden Gales now with six. The Bishop Canavan lead up to nine at 20-11. to 11. Now, and the thing of it is, Brian, I'm not real sure. Would get, Geibel's playing a man-to-man -man on defense. If I were them, I'd go to zone, make this team beat you from the outside. I agree. There's Jeffrey Johnson. Johnson, a little operating room. Nice handoff. Driving and scoring there is Travell Clayton. So Clayton with four Gators back to within seven, down 20 to 13, 530 left before halftime. Yeah, it's still a lot of time there. Not out of this game by any means. Sledge back up top. Spears, floater, won't drop. Rebound underneath, picked up by Clayton. Nice move there by Spears. He had the bunny, but just couldn't convert it. So the Gators down seven with the basketball. It'll be Trayvon White bringing it across. Up on the near wing now to Travell Clayton. A little switch here with Jadis Kennedy trying to get it back in Clayton's direction. Deflected out of bounds. Went off a guy bowling out and back over to Bishop Canavan. Yeah, they're going to say that was off Clayton's shin. So Bishop Canavan. I mean, a nice pass there by Kennedy, but... You know what, Ken, it's kind of interesting. You know, Kennedy, as we said in the first game, he scored 13 points in that first half, but really hasn't looked for anything on offense the last half of the game last week and then this part of the first half this week. Battled some cramping issues in that second half with Eden Christian and a travel call there on Jaden Gale, so the Gators will get it back. 
down seven. Again, your officials here today, Tony Carter, Mike Garasinski, and John Gallagher. As Tony Carter will hand it off here to Jeffrey Johnson. And full court pressure being shown now by Bishop Canavan. As Johnson gets it into White. Trayvon White now out of his own zone. 4.45 left before halftime. Gators down seven. White back into the Crusaders zone. Has it here high on the right. Watch there by Champagne. And now White in a little trouble. Kicks it in the corner over to Kennedy who fires the quick three. It's an air ball. Deflected loose underneath and picked up there by R.J. Sledge. Yeah, not a good shot there. I thought he should have taken it baseline. Let's see what he does here on the break. But Kennedy with a steal on Sledge. Coming back. Almost lost the handle again. Now he does lose it. As you have Jaden Gales out of the pack with it here for the Crusaders. Gales now back to Sledge on the far wing. Sledge, nice feed down low, cutting and scoring Kai Spears. First field goal of the game for Spears, made two free throws earlier. Increases the Crusaders' lead back to 9 to 22 to 13. Yeah, and Kennedy just got, he was frustrated on that backside, thought he got fouled and missed his assignment there. Spears able to get the easy layup on the cut. White edge of the zone, back over to Clayton on the far wing. Try to go down low and again deflected and picking it up there is Kai Spears across on the near side now to R.J. Sledge. Sledge back to Spears. Little switch here with Amari Evans. Evans coming inside, floating it off the glass. Shot attempt no good, long rebound deflected out. On the far side, Shea Champagne with the save. Goes cross court near side in the corner. Spears spots up and rains the three. Kai Spears, five here in the second. Seven for the game. Timeout, Geibel. 327 left before halftime. All Bishop Canavan. They lead it 25 to 13. And we're back in 60 here on the CR Prada Group. High School Sports Night. You know the importance of planning for retirement, and you plan to enjoy a long and healthy life after you retire. But it's also important to plan for the possibility of needing care on a long-term basis. As life expectancies grow in the U.S., the potential need for long-term care grows as well. A Northwestern long-term care insurance company policy can help pay for the care you may need. To learn more, call John R. Ritchie today, 724 that's 724-550-4414 for John R. Ritchie. For attorney Melinda Della Rose, helping people with compassionate counseling, candid legal advice, strong advocacy, and professional commitment is what she does best. With an office at 99 East Main Street in downtown Uniontown, attorney Della Rose specializes in family law, municipal law, and general civil litigation, as well as personal injury, estate planning, probate, and more. For more information, call attorney Melinda Della Rose, 724-437-3200. 724-437-3200 or online at DelaRoseLaw.com. Dival with the basketball as we come back. They trail by 12, largest lead of the game so far, Tony, for Bishop Canavan. Almost a travel there from White, trying to keep it alive. Little pivot needs help. going to get a five-second call. It is a five-second call. Yeah. And again, nobody going back to the ball right there. Geibel just picked up the dribble and nowhere to go for White. Probably was hesitant to take another timeout. Geibel's burned two already, down 12 with 3.10 left before halftime. In our live video stream, courtesy of the dental offices of Dr. Jonathan Krisner and Dr. Jennifer Haar and Ranker Lincoln Motor Sales. Now you're just trying to stay in the game. Timeouts right now. If you need one, you better take it. Faking the three there is Evans. Now he's going to spot up. It's on the way and good. Wow. Amari Evans. Now with six, all Bishop Canavan, the number one seed, number one team in the state in boys single A, leads by 15 now, 28 to 13. Now on the other side of that too, Brian, is there's 10 seniors on this Bishop Canavan team, which is a huge difference, a lot of experience. Good little feed down low and using the glass and getting it to go for Geibel is Travel Clayton. Boy, the Gators needed that. Back to within 13 at 28 to 15. Off balance shot, basket and one. R.J. Sledge, how did he ever get that one to the basket toe? I don't even know how he stayed up in the air that long. Beautiful move. Just kind of flipped it over his shoulder, and he's going to go for three now. Second personal on Travell Clayton. Just the third team foul. Sledge got those golden shoes on. Way he's playing, he can wear them. No kidding. Free throw, though, no good there from Sledge. Battle for the rebound. Gators find it there with Jadis Kennedy. A Bishop Canavan's doubled up Geibel so far, 30 to 15. 221 left before halftime. Right across here by Whites. White guarded there by Fife. White but, dancing everywhere. Well, there's another five second call. Yeah, I mean, nobody's moving on offense. 
And you think there'd be some operating room. Geibel used to playing on a smaller court. Certainly plenty of space out here at Fox Chapel. Yeah, we thought that would help him out a little bit. But right now, I think they still think they're at Geibel, to be honest with you. They got to move. And I'm sure playing in the single-A classification, you probably play a lot of games even on the road on smaller surfaces because those gyms in single-A just aren't as big as the gyms here in the larger classification. There's Spears raining in another three. Boys, Bishop Canavan hot right now. Spears has eight here in the second, ten for the game. And he's hit two threes here in the second quarter. And another travel called here on the Gators. But Bishop Canavan up 33-15, to 15, 150 left before halftime. Now you can see why they're the number one team in the state, obviously. The number, number one seed in the WPIL, and they're going for their second championship in a row. Keep playing like this. They'll be at the Pete on Thursday. Sledge drawing some contact down low. It'll be team foul number four against the Gators on the floor. It's going to be on Jeff. I'm sorry, Johnson. Jeffrey Johnson. Now you have two on Johnson, two on Clayton. The only four fouls for the Gators so far today. And that one deflected right off of Grady and out. So Bishop Canavan keeps it here in the Geimble zone. Of course, more. Playoff hoops coming up for you on Monday here on WMBS. Big one in boys 5A with Laurel Highlands taking on Highlands. A Peters Township high score on the air at 7.15 with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show. Tip-off set for 8 o'clock. Missed three there from Fife. Underneath, cleaning it up though, Kayvon Price. Price now with six. Lead at 20 at 35-15. to 15. And a minute and a half to go here first half. Jeffrey Johnson. Fouled left of the lane on the floor. Just the second team foul on Bishop Canavan. This first half's been moving right along. I think they're going to call that on Sledge. That's going to be his first. As you said, only the second team foul. Champagne with the other one off the bench. As we said, they're deep. Ten seniors, and they shuffle everybody in and out. And that's the thing. You, you hope that Geibel doesn't wear out in this game. Jadis Kennedy to send it in. Ball is deflected there by Bishop Canavan. Geibel will keep possession. Now they're going to switch out. They're going to have Kennedy. He took it out the last time. Now they're going to have Johnson take it out. Johnson in front of the Bishop Canavan bench. The lob it in. That's dangerous. It gets deflected down. Bishop Canavan finds it. Another quick two for Kai Spears. So Spears 10 here in the second, 12 for the game. Lead up to 22 now, 37 to 15. Gators were hanging early on, but struggling right now. A little hop step, floater on the way, rattling out for Trayvon White, just the way this one's going right now for the Gators. Coming yeah. back on the other side, Price comes free and lays it up and in. So Price four in the second, eight for the game. Lead at 24, 39 to 15. Kennedy back through center here for Guy, but leaning threw it up over the shoulder and missed. Numbers coming back again, four on two for Bishop Canavan. Feed down low, Champagne trying to reset, got bumped, foul on the floor. That's Johnson, that's going to be his third. And that's a problem. I mean, you really don't have a whole lot of guard play on this Geibel team. Johnson's going to have to sit out the final 49 seconds. He already down 24, 39 to 15. Yeah, Braden Curry's going to check in for Geibel. First substitution we've seen for the Gators here today. Now they're not very deep. Champagne bounce pass out in front, laying it up and in. Kayvon Price. So Price, six in the second, ten for the game. Bishop Canavan leads by 26 right now, 41-15. to 15. Geibel scored only four points here in the second quarter, all courtesy of Travell Clayton. White driving back, folding it up, another miss. And a jump ball call, they're off the rebound. Gators get it here off the arrow. Now Curry making his presence felt here. Checked in for Johnson and... Curry with the tie-up, forcing the jump ball. He played well defensively on Wednesday as well for Geibel. Yes, he did. I know I was referring to those games as last week. It's only been <laughs> three Double days base. ago. <laughs> Deflected here off the inbounds, pass into the backcourt. Good hustle play again there from Curry to try to keep it alive, and he got fouled. That foul's going to be on Shea Champagne. That's going to be his second. So 23 seconds to go, and Geibel looking to stem the tide here, but Rao, they're going to have a tough second half trying to make a comeback against a very good Bishop Canavan team. You know, Curry triggering it in here for Geibel. Curry now needs to hurry and had it stolen. Passed it right to Kai Spears. Plays catch there with Fife. 
Spears gets it back, handoff underneath. Gales got partially blocked. They keep it alive, and Gales able to lay it up and in after the initial block. And Bishop Canavan now 28 at 43 to 15. Five seconds left before halftime. Jadis Kennedy coming back, and they're going to try to make it 30 here as Kennedy coughed it up, but the Crusaders are able to get a shot away, and we'll go to halftime. Oh, Bishop Canavan up 43 to 15 over Geibel. We're back. To recap the first half numbers for you in a moment here on WMBS and the Triple Live High School Sports Network. The Grand Caravan Selldown is going on now at Ranker Lincoln with 18 caravans in stock, all under 30,000 miles, featuring third row seats and rear air conditioning and prices starting as low as $22.5. You're sure to find the perfect Grand Caravan for your family. Not in the market for a Grand Caravan. Ranker has a lot full of great deals, too. Stop by or go to RankerLincoln.com to find your nice car. Ranker Lincoln, just two miles south of Connellsville on Route 119. Mama Ruka's Pizza Shop, located at 624 Barton Mill Road in Uniontown, is your prime place to enjoy local high school sports. Mama Ruka's is family-owned and operated where pride of ownership certainly shows. The Sampson family carries on the tradition of homemade pizza, salads, subs, and wings. Mama Ruka's is open Monday through Saturday, 4 to 10, for indoor-outdoor dining and takeout. Call 724-438-9066 or visit MamaRukaPizza.com for their menu. Fallen in love with the house? Head over heels for a home plan? Take the plunge. Apply for a mortgage loan with First Federal Savings and Loan of Greene County. Feeling commitment shy? Complete a mortgage pre-qualification. It's simple, 100% online, and you'll get a personalized answer within one business day. Then save the date for move-in day or groundbreaking and put a key ring on it. Apply online at firstfederalofgreene.com. First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, NMLS, number 458729. Hi, I'm Russ Playho. As your local Allstate agent, providing protection that fits your life is something I take, well, personally. I'm committed to learning about your needs and personalizing protection to meet them. From bundling your auto, home, and life insurance with ease to evaluating optional coverage based on your protection needs. I can build an insurance proposal that fits your life. Are you in good hands? Contact me, Russ Blaho, for a free quote. Subject to terms, conditions, and availability, savings vary. The goal of Geibel Catholic is to provide a gospel-centered education to young men and women so they may grow spiritually, morally, and intellectually. Geibel has a long history of helping students learn about God, themselves, and the world around them. Come see for yourself what Geibel has to offer at an open house on Sunday, February 27th from 12 to 2. Visit GeibelCatholic.org or call 724-628-5600 for more information. Hope to see you on Sunday. I'm attorney Rob Harper, and I'm happy to be joining Bill Martin and Trip Radcliffe at Radcliffe Law in Uniontown. I grew up in Uniontown and chose to make Fayette County my home. I also represent the county as an assistant district attorney, and I know my way around a courtroom. If you are hurt in an accident, buying or selling a home, need assistance with an estate or will preparation, call me at Radcliffe Law, 724-439-3939. The initial consultation is free. Radcliffe Law, making the law personal. Where can you go these days and have your gas pump for you? Oil checks and windshield clean. Joby's Golf, that's where. Joby's Golf is conveniently located at the corner of Fayette and Beeson Boulevard. Joby's Golf is a fast, friendly, full-service gas station serving the Uniontown area and the same location for over 47 years. Joby's Golf offers walkout services, general repairs, tire repair, fenced-in storage lots, state inspection, golf products, and AAA 24-hour car and light truck towing service. Call 724-438-0681. The Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 and Hopwood are proud supporters of local high school sports. For more information on the programs that the Catholic War Veterans provide, log on to the Catholic War Veterans website at www.cwv.org. You can also visit the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 on Facebook or phone 724-437-3088. That's 724-437-3088. 3088 for the Catholic War Veterans Post 1669 in Hopwood. Back here at Fox Chapel High School, all Bishop Canavan leading the Geibel Gators 43-15. to Tony has your halftime stats. They're brought to you by Peachin's Pharmacy, located inside the downtown Connellsville Peachin Market. All right, let's start out for the Bishop Canavan Crusaders. They were led in that first half by Kai Spears. He had 12 points, 10 of those coming in the second quarter. He had two made threes in that first half as well. Kevon Price with 10 in that first half. Eight points from Jaden Gales. Six from Amari Evans. Four from R.J. Sledge. 
and a made three from half court by Jamil Fife in that first half. 18 in the first, 25 in the second for their total of 43. They were three for five from the foul line in that first half and four made threes, one by Amari Evans, and one by Fife, and two by Spears. For Geibel in that first half, 15 total points. They were led by Travell Clayton, who had six, four points from Trayvon White, a made three by Jeffrey Johnson, and two points from Caden Grady. They scored 11 points in the first and only four in the second. They had no foul shots in that first half, and they had one made three, and that was by Jeffrey Johnson. So Geibel outscored in that second quarter 25-4, to four, and that's the difference in your ball game right now, 43-15, Bishop Canham and over Geibel. And boys, 4A, your championship game, will be Quaker Valley going up against Montour. Montour defeated Bell Vernon earlier on today, 64-53, while Quaker Valley down Lincoln Park 74 to 63. So that section showing strong. Bell Vernon was in that game throughout much of the fourth quarter, but just never could take a lead there down the stretch. And then Montour able to pull away late. Now, Montour got hot towards the end of the year, and they've been playing some very good basketball. And really, I thought that Bell Vernon would beat them today. They played them pretty tight before without having Whitlock in, because I know he got hurt in that first quarter. But Geibel just couldn't uh, get over the hump and couldn't get the coach to 700 wins today. And here at Fox Chapel, it's all Bishop Canavan, 43-15 to over Geibel. Second half comes your way next year on WMBS and on the Triple Live High School Sports Network. Going on now at Seahawk Bridge Chevy East. Our customers can drive away in a new 2022 Chevy Silverado for only $319 a month. Security deposit waived. Stop in for a test drive or visit SeaHarborChevyEast.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Lease is through GMF for well-qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. It's 4,500 cash rate equity with lease loyalty or lease complex. Payment is for tax settle fees and for payment. Security deposit waived. Sale ends February 28, 2022. While supplies last, residency restrictions apply. Call dealer for all of the details at 724-668-2231. UPMC Centers for Rehab Services on Wayland Smith Drive offers cutting-edge physical therapy. Jim Burns and his staff are residents of the community, treating sports injuries, neurological conditions, back pain, brains and strains, joint replacements, hand injuries, and other conditions. They treat you efficiently and safely by taking all necessary precautions while disinfecting the clinic regularly. All insurance accepted. Experienced therapists. Convenient location and hours. Part of the community. Call the office with a prescription from your doctor or schedule by direct access 724-437-7500. Attorneys from all over the state and nation advertise in southwestern Pennsylvania for personal injury and workers' comp cases. But most of them send their assistants to do the legwork. You might not even meet your attorney until your first hearing. We're local attorneys, Davis and Davis. We meet directly with our clients, including pre-consultation. There are no fees until you receive money on your case. If you've been injured, call Davis and Davis and your neighbors yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Call 777 When it's time to service your vehicle, don't procrastinate. Call Rose Motors at 724-544. Rose Motors specializes diagnostics, engine and electrical problems, brake service, electronic tune-ups, air conditioning repair, exhaust work, state inspection, and more. Looking for a quality vehicle? See Rose, Rose Motors, 42 River Avenue in Mason Town. Serving the area for three generations. Open Monday through Friday, Saturday by appointment. Dinner's great. It's one of your top three favorite meals. You just don't want to have to make it. Well, with Jimmy John's, you don't have to. But you can sandwich delivery zone to the store. You can always get a freaky fresh sandwich. Order at JimmyJohns.com. Freaky fast, freaky good. Order online at JimmyJohns.com or call 724-437-6800 for delivery or curbside pickup. Jimmy John's, that's the Walnut Hill Shop and Save. Are your dentures cracked, loose, broken, or maybe it's time for a new set of dentures? Call the office of Dr. Jonathan Krisner and Dr. Jennifer Haar at 600 Cherry Tree Lane in Uniontown. Thanks to their in-office denture lab, they can make your new with another office. Offices, and in most cases, same-day denture repairs. They also offer teeth whitening, clear braces, and single-visit crowns. Call for your appointment, 724-438-0241, or visit their Facebook page. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, 
State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 724-592-6308 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Lease Plumbing and Excavating, helping area residents with residential and commercial plumbing, gas, electric, and water lines, along with paving concrete and excavation site work for over 30 years. Building a new home, Lease does utility installation of water, gas, and sewage lines. Lease does maintenance work on all existing homes, too. Call 724-245-2950. That's 724-245-2950 for your quote. Lee's wishes all the area basketball teams good luck this season from Lee's Plumbing and Excavating. Back here for the second half, 43-15. to 15, Bishop Canavan leading Geibel. Brian Morozak alongside Tony Hanola. Steve Superk, yes, Steve Superk behind the camera on our Triple Live High School Sports Network video feed. And Nick Barcheck back inside our WVU Medicine Uniontown Hospital Studios. Bishop Canavan with the basketball to start the second half. They get a bucket here, Tone, on this possession. We'll be running clock the rest of the way. Yeah, you're going to get it here in a second. There's a three from the far wing, and it didn't take long, like 10 seconds. End of the quarter, Jaden Gales drains the three. He now has 11, and Bishop Canavan goes up 31 at 46-15. to 15. Well, and that's the thing. As we said, both of these teams are used to seeing each other. And this Bishop Canavan team well-schooled for today's game. Jadis Kennedy comes back and drains the three from the top of the key, and that's Kennedy's first points of the game. So Kennedy actually went... A full game as that ball got kicked about 10 rows up into the stands. He did not score in the second half against Eden Christian. Did not score here in the first half against Bishop Canavan. But drains a three there to pull the Gators back to within 28. But the clock will continue to run down at 7-10 left here in the third. And that's it. He came in. I mean, he was averaging 25 points a game. Off the inbounds pass here. A little leaner and a miss underneath from Price. They'll kick it out back on the wing. And that three rattling out for Spears. Gators with the rebound, out left pass. Kennedy comes free and lays it up and in. So five quick points for Jadis Kennedy. Credit Travell Clayton there with the assist. And the Gators back to within 26, down 46 to 20. 6.45 left here in the third. Yeah, Clayton with a nice outlet pass there to catch Kennedy for the easy basket. Sledge long two, a little bit too strong. White the rebound underneath there for Geibel. Now White back across. You'd expect with this running clock, things to loosen up a little bit more here at Fox Chapel. Here's Kennedy, a little bump, and they'll get Gales for the foul. Yeah, not a very good foul there. Gales, 20 feet away from the basket, just bodied Kennedy up there. So that's his first, team first in this second half. Kennedy will feed it back in. In the backcourt to Trayvon White. Kennedy trying to set the screen as White brings it back across. Now you have Clayton stepping in as well, trying to Screen his way forward, but the Gators turn it over and laying it back up and in. Kayvon Price off the feed from Spears. Price with 12. Bishop Canavan back up 28 at 48 to 20. 547 left here in the third. Yeah, not exactly sure why they're showing full court pressure right now, but they are. And they're up 28. Guy White just, again. Yeah, just having trouble offensively. Double team able to free it up to Grady who uses the glass and gets that two to go. To Caden Grady now with four. Gators back to within 26 at 48 to 22 with 525 left here in the third. And Bishop Canavan just going to slow it down here. Season, though, not done for Geibel. They have qualified for the state playoffs. If Bishop Canavan wins the WPIL championship, Geibel will play the District 10 champs, which is the Erie region. If Bishop Canavan will lose to Union in the single-A title game, then Geibel would take on the District 5 champs, which is the Somerset region. And we've seen Berlin Brothers Valley last couple of years out of that district representing single A. Yeah, and actually went up there and did that game two years ago, I guess it Correct, was. Correct, yep. Right up before in, COVID. Yeah, up in Johnstown. and they had, a, they had a heck of a program that game. A little hop step there from Evans. No good. Tip in on the putback. Another miss. Third attempt on the possession. Spears fouled going back up. And we mentioned during the Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show, the Bishop Canavan last year was scheduled to play Berlin Brothers Valley in the state quarterfinals. That game, the Crusaders had a forfeit due to the fact that they had some COVID protocols going on inside their program. The year before, they were scheduled to meet in the quarterfinals, and that game was scrapped up because of the onset of COVID. That entire tournament was canceled. Right. First of two free throws, good there for Spears. He's had a nice game with 13. Yes, he has had a nice game. 6'2", senior guard. 
Nice looking shooter. Lead at 49 to 22. Price going to take a seat. Now Spears for a second of two up on the way and good. So Kai Spears pacing the way for Bishop Canavan now with 14. They lead by 28 at 50 to 22, 427 left here in the third. Yeah, and I think you're going to see a lot of bench right now. You got the Champagne brothers both in. Spears taking a seat as well as Price. Jadis Kennedy sends it in there to Clayton. Clayton, the big guy, running the floor now for the Gators. Clayton trying to come inside. They're going to get a foul call here in Bishop Canavan. I think you're going to get a call on the backside reach there. I think it's going to be on number five. That's going to be on Jamil Fife. Fife hit that three for midcourt to end the opening quarter. Right. Really gave momentum to Bishop Canavan. As we said, they held gobbled only four points in that second quarter. Ball deflected out of bounds. We have Bishop Canavan basketball, or will it? Referee's talking it over. Say no Geibel basketball. Tony Carter saying it's going the other way. I think they're going to chat about it. I think it's going to Geibel. Make the correction. And Johnson will send it in from in front of the Geibel bench. They'll bounce it in there to Clayton. Pulls it back to Trayvon White. White double team. Back in Clayton's direction. Near side a little juggle and Jadis Kennedy. Able to regain. Kennedy back in the corner and firing the three is Clayton and the big guy showing some range. Connecting there, Clayton with nine. Bishop Canavan's doubled up Geibel 50 to 25 with 309 left here in the third. Clayton had a good game against Eden Christian. He led him with 17. Really, he's having a good game here. Fife answering back. May three here on the near wing. So Fife had the three from midcourt and now a more conventional three. As Bishop Canavan up 28, on a contact there, blocking foul Kennedy now down here for the Gators. And that's going to be on Gales. Gales with the step in there trying to draw the charge. Problem is he didn't flop. He didn't get knocked down. Only Kennedy got knocked down, so Gales got called for the foul. I think if he goes to the floor, he's going to pick up the charge. Here's Kennedy after a little deflection, regaining, coming forward, sending it off to White on the wing, playing catch there with Johnson. Check that Clayton on the wing, playing catch with Johnson. Ball's deflected out. We'll stay with Geibel here in the Bishop Canavan zone. And let's see Johnson going to trigger it in. Now over to White, high on the right. Send it back in Johnson's direction. He'll spot up for the three. Too strong at the back iron. Rebound pulled down there by R.J. Sledge. Sledge running back. He'll fold it up the front of the rim. No good. Got his own rebound back. Now resets here right of the lane. Back up top. Look out. It's Fife again. Missing this time on the three. And Jeffrey Johnson, the rebound there for Geibel. Johnson back through center. Foul there by Sledge. And that's going to be Sledge's second. I'll tell you what. That's going to be a good championship game. Obviously, I don't think Geibel's going to be able to mount an enough comeback to get back here. But I'll tell you what. We saw that Union team early on, and uh, they're pretty nice. Nice snow look feed down to Caden Grady. And Grady laying it up and in. White with that pass. So yeah, it does look like Union and Bishop Canavan for the boys' single-A championship. Union with an upset. They were the three. Amani Christian was the two. And Union knocked them off. Sledge coming back. Three spinning out on the near wing. Johnson the rebound there for Geibel. Now Union extremely fundamental. They box out well and they shoot well. White, no look feed underneath. That's going to be a travel. travel. Yep. So against uh, Bishop Canavan, they'll match up well. It's going to be an interesting game. I can't wait to look at that one. Watch that game. That'll be 5 o'clock Thursday at the Peterson Event Center. Again, we have boys semifinal round action in 5A coming your way Monday from Peters Township. Laurel Highlands taking on Highlands. We're on here at 7.15 with our Sprouse Insurance Group pregame show. Timeout Bishop Canavan. 45 seconds left here in the third. Crusaders lead at 53-27. We're back at 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Go to Ford Union Town and trade me in. Hi, guys. Dominic Carbone here to answer today's big question of a new vehicle these days. Well, it's quite simple. Click or call our friendly sales staff here at Ford Union Town. Second, we show you all, all the vehicles we have coming in, including colors, trim levels, packages, and more. You select a vehicle, and when it arrives, it's yours. Of course, we go over pricing, incentives, purchase, and lease options. And if you have a trade, we give you an on-the-spot trade evaluation. And by the way, you don't want to miss out on these historic trade values. And if you are not in a rush, 
we will be happy to place a factory order for you with all the exact equipment you choose. And if you're in the market for a late model pre-owned vehicle, well, you're in luck. We have over 70 here ready to go. Most vehicles are Ford Blue Advantage certified with excellent warranties. The presidents know, shouldn't you? That's Ford of Uniontown, on top of the hill, across from Applebee's. 724-425-5980 or FordofUniontown.com. Back here at Fox Chapel High School, start of the fourth quarter. Actually, no, 35 seconds. Check that, 45 seconds left here in the third quarter. Bishop Canavan leading Geibel 53-27. to Getting ahead of myself here, Tom. <laughs> well, with that running clock, you just don't know anymore, Brian. But, yeah, closing in on the end of the third quarter. Shea Champagne with it right now for Bishop Canavan. Operating here on the far wing in the Geibel zone. Bouncing it off to his right to Jamil Fife. Switch back over to Trey Champagne again, and now Fife in a little mini weave up top for the Crusaders with 20 seconds left here in the third, and they're cruising on 53 to 27. Now they're just going to slow it down, obviously go for the last shot. No need to hurry up here. Shea now trying to come free off a of screen from the elbow. Jumper on the way, good for Shea Champagne. His first two off the Crusaders bench here today. 55-27, floater coming back to end the quarter. No good from Grady. So after three quarters of basketball, Bishop Canavan up 55-27 to over Geibel. We're back with a fourth and 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Day. COVID-19 vaccines teach your body to recognize and fight the COVID virus. You can get this vaccine at no cost to you at Peach and Pharmacy in Connellsville. Schedule online, by phone, or just walk in. Help protect yourself and your loved ones. When you are ready, get your vaccine at Peach and Pharmacy. Visit peachandpharmacy.com for more information. Peach and Pharmacy, your local pharmacy. Going on now at CR for Chevy. Our customers can drive away in a new 2022 Chevy Silverado for only three ninety dollars a month. Save. Stop in for our visit charperchevy.com. Chevrolet, find new roads. Meet the GMF for well qualified individuals, 24 months at 10,000 miles per year. This 4,500 cash rate equity with lease loyalty or lease conquest. Payment is for tax settled fees and for payments. Security deposit waived. 2022, walk by last. Residency restrictions apply. Call the dealer for all of the details at 724-99-8000. Back here at Fox Chapel High School. 55 to 27, Bishop Canvin leading Geibel's. We get ready to start the fourth quarter. Bishop Canavan led 18 to 11 after one quarter of play. 43 to 15 at halftime. Now up 55 to 27. And the score, Tony, was 15 to 11 late in that first quarter before Fife hit that three to end the period. And as you said, that kind of gave Bishop Canavan some momentum in that second quarter. Held Geibel to only four points. And the Gators were down 28 to start the third quarter. Yeah, they just turned it up a notch on defense as well, forced a number of turnovers. Curry with the feed down to Grady, who got stripped there by Jameel Fife. Fife sending it down back into the corner. Shea Champagne spotting up for the three and draining it. So Shea now five off the Bishop Canavan bench. Crusaders back up 31 at 58 to 27 with 7.14 left in regulation. Yeah, and the seventh made three for Bishop Canavan here today. They've been hot from the field. Tough shot there from White, no good. Bishop Canavan's Amari Evans with a rebound. He's looking down there for Fife, deflected out of bounds by Geibel. will stay with the Crusaders. Now give Geibel credit. They haven't given up yet, though, No, Brian. still playing They're hard. Still playing hard is right. Geibel's leading scorer so far is Clayton with nine. On the Bishop Canavan side, Spears with 14. You have Gales with 11. And Price with 12. Underneath, add another two to the total for Price to give him 14 with a make there. And a quick deflection out of bounds, and we'll go right back to Bishop Canavan. And interesting, as we said, Bishop Canavan still showing full court pressure. Now you're going to have a couple subs checking in. It's going to be a Dante Berrien. Checking in. Didn't see who uh, number 12. Makai Beard checking in. We think with 6.03 left here in the fourth, you'll start to see the starting rotation pulled here if they haven't been already on the Bishop Canavan side. Spears a starter, floating one up and in there. Spears now with 16. Lead at 62 to 27. 
5.47 left here in the fourth. Trayvon White out of his own zone. That one's stolen. Shea Champagne coming back. Lays up another one. Has five here in the fourth. Seven for the game. I think one could argue, Tony, that Bishop Canavan might be the one, of, one of the better teams in any of the classifications around the WPIL, and yet they're playing here in single A, looking for their second straight WPIL championship. Well, they're loaded. There's no doubt about it. And that's what we said, being number one seed two years in a row, winning the WPIL last year against Rochester. But I'll tell you what, they've, they've got a good squad, and they're deep. They played a tough schedule, actually, open up the – Season with games against Penn Hills and Pittsburgh Central Catholic. Lost both of those contests, but both were closed games. Fell by eight to Penn Hills. Lost to Central by three. Then knocked off Chartiers Valley by 13. Defeated Woodland Hills. Lost against Butler. Their only other loss since was actually here at Fox Chapel. Fell 69 to 57 to the Foxes. And there's another one for Champagne. With seven here in the fourth, nine for the game. They really dominated throughout Section 2-1A play. I think Geibel's 22-point loss to Bishop Kahneman was the closest conference game the Crusaders had all season. As Johnson missed on a jumper there for Geibel. Coming back, missed a layup from Adante Berrien, who had just checked in. The ball ruled Geibel's basketball. Might have been a double dribble there off the rebound. And now you're going to see most of these starters checking out on the Bishop Kahneman side with 4.08 left in regulation. Yeah, you're going to have some subs coming in. You've got Mark Ingold checked in. As we said, Barion's already in. Number 34, Francis Paciccio. It's been a long time, Tony, since Geibel's lost to a team not named Bishop Canavan this season. In fact, they haven't lost in 2022 to a team other than Bishop Canavan. There's a two score there for Jadis Kennedy. First two of the fourth quarter for the Gators. But Geibel lost 95 to 86 to Keystone Oaks in the Aquinas Academy Christmas Tournament. And since then, early two losses, and this will be their third loss. That one banked in from up top. <laughs> in that Mark Ingold. It's Ingold. And, it's, <laughs> and a timeout with 322 left in regulation. Bishop Canavan up 40 at 69 to 29. And we're back in 60 here on the CR Product Group High School Sports Night. Looking for a dentist? Dr. Michael George and Dr. Ashley Parker of George Dental Associates, a Uniontown staple, has over 40 years' experience treating patients of all ages. Their caring, professional team of dentists and their staff offer a full range of dental services, including restorative, preventative, pediatric, cosmetic, and so much more. GeorgeDentalAssociates.com today. That's GeorgeDentalAssociates.com. Com and find out how to smile through the art of dentistry. This year, Guyla Catholic Junior Senior High School, Harvard's beloved blonde, takes the stage by Pink Storm in a fun, upbeat story of self discovery. Legal and Blonde, the musical, 26th at 7 p.m. and March 27th at 2 p.m. at the State Theater Center for the Arts in Union Town. It's a fabulously fun, award winning musical based on the adored movie. It follows the transformation of Ellie Woods as she tackles stereotypes and scandal in pursuit of her dreams. March 25th, 26th, and 27th at the State Theater Center for the Arts in Union Town. For more information, call 724 628 5600. 308 left in regulation, driving back and getting fouled there, Jadis Kennedy. Shot attempt no good. Kennedy will have two free throws upcoming as we go under three minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Been a quick game, Tone, especially with the running clock here in the second half. Yeah, we thought it would be a little bit closer than this, but Geibel just struggled in that second quarter, and that was really the difference in the game, Brian. And Geibel just four points in the second quarter. They've scored only three so far here in the fourth, trailing 69 to 30. And you've got eight players on the Bishop Canavan side who's in the scoring column. They spread it around tonight. Might add a few more here in the closing three minutes. Yep. Second of two free throws good there from Kennedy. 69-31 Bishop Canavan. 2.53 left here in the fourth. Little switch on the back side there. Gino DeFrank into the game. Near side touch from Makai Beard. And fired down low, throwing it over the shoulder, up and in. That's the guy, Avery. Nice look there. Avery with a nice reverse. His first two of the game. Now he's also a senior off the bench. Jadis Kennedy missed three there for Geibel. Rebound pulled down by Makai Beard. Handed off to his left. And getting partially blocked there going up was Bocciccio. It's a good name. 
And White too hard on that pass through Clayton coming back for Geibel out of bounds and back over to Bishop Canavan for 2-11 to play. And now a couple of Canavan fan favorites checking in, Michael Vaughn and John Radilla. Every team has one. Yes. By the way, our good buddy Malachi Wallace, Colin Buttercup, celebrated his 18th birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to him. Of course, he's one of the Mustang fan favorites. Underneath, missed shot there from Canavan. Grady the rebound. Back to Trayvon White. 143 to play. White up top. Passes on the elbow. And on the wing, coming up short there on the three was Braden Curry. Saved in the corner there from Clayton. And back to Curry, who drains the three. So Curry getting his first points from outside the arc. 71-34, Canavan with 125 left here in the fourth. Yeah, and I'm sure that... Uh Malachi's teammates got him a cake, maybe got him a couple presents for his 18th. I would think so. Three ball, air ball there for Michael Vaughn for Canavan. Grady coming back, and he'll lay it up and in. Caden Grady with eight, 71-36. 105 left here in the fourth. Well, it's Mark Ingold will bring it back across here for Canavan. Yeah, Gobble's just going to have to go back and work. And she said more than likely, I mean, they're going to get into the state playoffs, no doubt. So thing of it is they're going to have to work and figure out what's going on, kind of get this offense that's been sputtering here today and kind of work on things over the little bit of break they're going to have. And those state games are actually starting earlier than normal. Geibel will play a week from Tuesday. Again, if Canavan wins the WPILs, they'll play the champs from District 10. If Canavan loses to Union, they'll play the champs from District 3. Three ball up top, missing there. Radilla loose underneath, going out of bounds, back over to Geibel with 25 seconds left. Yeah, and you're going to see, I mean, I think that, like I said, that championship game on Thursday, I'm really looking forward to that with Union and uh, Bishop Canavan, two really good teams. Clayton Long three off the mark there for Geibel with 10 seconds left. Canavan will bring it back down with five seconds left. Radilla will dribble it out, and that'll do it. Bishop Canavan, a 71-36 win over Geibel. Crusaders improved to 19-4. Advance to the WPIL championship game, looking to defend their title. Geibel drops to 18 and 6. We're back to tell you all about it on our post game show brought to you by First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Greene County. Comes your way next year on WMBS and on the Triple Live High School Sports Network. Your streaming solution is here. EXP Stream from Armstrong brings live, recorded, and on-demand programs together with streaming entertainment like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and more with one box and one remote. Put TV on your schedule with incredible over, which lets you catch up on live shows up to three days later and cloud DVR with 50 hours of HD storage. Visit armstrongonewire.com slash stream to sign up today. EXP Streaming solved. Somerset Trust Company is proud to call Fayette County home. With branches in Markleysburg, Connellsville, Hopwood, Uniontown, and Periopolis, Somerset Trust Company is truly Fayette County's community bank. Convenient services available at all branches include checking and savings accounts, personal and business loans, mortgages and home equity loans, trust and investment management, and more. Call us at 724-626-1725. Visit us at somersettrust.com and like us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Somerset Trust Company, community banking worth talking about. Looking for the highest quality products at the lowest prices? Shop and save on Walnut Hill in Uniontown is the widest selection of brands and the freshest offerings around. They specialize in your family's grocery needs. Save big and sign up for the Shop and Save Perks card to get money-saving benefits and discounts on gas. Shop and save. Walnut Hill Road, Uniontown, open 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day. Working hard to offer you the best at Shop and Save because it's the just right thing to do. Going on now at Sea Harper Chevy. Our customers can drive away in a Chevy Silverado for only $3.19 a month. Security deposit waived. Stop in for a test drive or visit SeaHarperChevy.com. Chevrolet Road. We've met the well-qualified individual for the 4500 cash rate equity with lease loyalty or lease complex. Game of tax total fees and percentage. Security deposit waived. Sale ends February 8, 2022. Watch live last. Residency restrictions apply. Call dealer for all of the details at 724-99. A farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly can combine your home and auto. And guess what you'll get? That's right. Good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman is your go-to agent in Uniontown. For the service you deserve at the price you want. 
So try to combine home and auto today. State Farm agent Lauren Yeoman will help you mix and match things perfect. 724-592-63 for your surprisingly great rate. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Looking for a fast service? Sandy Hall. Notary Services, LLC, Dried Off Road, Smithfield, PA, is here to help with transfers, plate renewals, new PA plates to serve Uniontown, Smithfield, Fairchance, and surrounding areas. Open weekday evenings starting at 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sandy Howell Notary Services, 158 Dried Off Road, Smithfield, 724-564-8955. Big enough to serve you, small enough to know you by name. This is Dr. Fraser Stokes with the Colon Cancer Screening Update. If you have no close family member with colorectal cancer or precancerous polyps, you are at average risk and should begin screening at age 45. Colonoscopy is the most sensitive screening test and only needs done every 10 years. Stool fit testing and Cologuard are usually effective screening options with fit testing done yearly and Cologuard done every three years. Learn more at swgispecialist.com. Did you know that you have a choice for your physical therapy provider? NovaCare Rehabilitation offers same-day appointments, and oftentimes you don't need a prescription from your doctor to see us. We will make sure that you are treated as an